This ain't working. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this anymore. Well, welcome to the beach. Here we are, low tide. Been a while since I posted a video, maybe a month. I think I got all the wife's chores done. She finally let me get out and go metal detecting. That's my other boss, by the way. And then uh, I'm gonna hit this low tide. I think it's like a negative 1.6. Let's see what we can find today. Conditions, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, what were we talking about? Conditions, yeah. Conditions are, uh, yeah. They're all right. But you know what? Here's a real treasure right here, man. Just getting the beach shots, beach views. If I find anything in here, that's cool, but damn, it looks like it's uh, sanded in by about three feet, but that's all right. Just gonna see, see what we can do, and that's all we can do. Talk to you later, bye. Signal 10, 15, 11, 16, whatever. That's gonna be maybe a full tab, full tab. First target though. <laughs> Didn't really sound that good. Oh, guess we're out. 12 16. Hey, our good old friend, man. I know you've been waiting for us. Oh, let me give you the. It's our first target right here. Hmm. Might just be a sign how our beach hunt is gonna be, baby. We got our genuine fool's tab. Mm -mm. Get them while they're hot. No matter how long you don't detect for, these are very reliable. They'll always be there for you. Fool's tab. Come and get them while they're hot. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just looking on this ding dong darn ding YouTube right now. Just trying to see if there's a channel on here to watch. And, uh, oh, look, there's a, there is a channel. Together for pleasure. They're on that YouTube right now. I'm going to be watching that YouTube. Let's see what's going on on this YouTube right now. Oh, there they are. Together for treasure. Mm-mm. Wait a minute, he just said the beach is closed. Follow cat, follow cat, follow. Here's that part again. Guys, that sounded exactly like a bottle cap that they had in the front. How's your 50 diamonds? Look at that. 150 diamonds. Okay, Auto cap on the beach. CTX don't like it at all. It's deep. Yeah, that we're gonna leave. We're not picking that up. Today. Maybe next time. Um Honey, what are you eating there? I'm just having some wheat. Some tasty wheat. Do you know what it really reminds me of? Tasty wheat. Wheat pennies. Mmm. Mmm. These are so good. Mmm, that's some tasty wheat. Woo! Did you ever eat tasty wheat? No, but technically neither did you. Well, that's exactly my point. Exactly. Because you have to wonder now. Now, how do the machines really know what tasty wheat tasted like, huh? Maybe they got it wrong. Maybe what I think tasty wheat tasted like actually tasted like uh, oatmeal or, uh, or tuna fish. I'm just trying to see what he found right here. Okay. I thought that was going to be a bottle cap. Baby girl. Wow. Baby girl. That's a hell of a way to start the day. Right. Let's see if we're stumped again. Bottle cap, bottle cap, bottle cap. Nope. Bottle cap, nope. bottle cap. Guys, that sounded exactly I'm gonna eat some uh, wheat right now. That makes you
you wonder about a lot of things. Uh, you, you take chicken, for example, maybe they couldn't figure out what to make chicken taste like, which is why chicken tastes like everything. 150 diamonds. He counted each diamond. That's amazing. Seven point two grams. That's a good oh, GTG. Guys. Look at that baby. If you want to. I think this is the first big one on the box for us. Ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. We did it. So like twenty forty two. About patience. <laughs> yeah. We got it. Oh, yeah. Diaper's weight. Man. Babies always sound good, huh? Kind of sound like a phone. Make sure I hold that away from my detector. I don't want that phone right on the screen. I'll kill the whole video. I'll for that uh, thing right there. Oh, throw that in the pouch. A deeper repeatable signal on the CTX. Three people. Same from uh, seven to eight. Let's just dig out some scoops right away. Might be a fishing weight, a deep one or something. Nope, we're out. That oh, might be a quarter. 11.46. You see it, there it is. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, looks like we're gonna get some laundry done now, finally. I haven't been able to do any laundry because I haven't found any of these babies, so. Eh, it's fine, about, about 100 more will be good. Fill this hole in and uh, see what else we can find. It's a great low tide, but it's, the problem is it's just so much um, sand built up. There's no rocks, exposed shells or nothing like that. At least this area where I'm hunting right now. But. After you haven't detected for about a month, man, it just, damn, whatever you find is, whatever you find, it just feels good to get out. Get a little exercise, you know. It's just for fun, it's a hobby. Are you coming in, possibly a dime or a penny? Copper penny, man. Who knows? Yep. Got it. Let's give it the old rinse though. And the mystery prize revealed is a copper penny. Ding 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 ding. Oh yeah. Nineteen eighty one, baby. All right, next one. A deep coin coming in here. Let's check it out. Tough day for recovering targets today. 
Just the rate of the waves coming in. Oh, it might just be a deep quarter. Just get in it, man. <laughs> get it? Let's see. Hey, we got it. I know we could do it together. Teamwork. Yep. Another quarter. That's a deeper one. I think it starts like an eight or nine inch quarter. All right. Let's move on. All right. I think we got a dime or a quarter. Well, a dime or a penny coming in. A quarter. Twelve forty-four. Out. You're out. What do we get? Yeah, another. Uh, what is that? Yep, another dime. Once you dig a dime, you're gonna start to run. Dime, dime. Take them all the time. They're coming in, maybe. I'm saying it's like seven, eight inches. I gotta ask, do you ever find any deer or anything doing that? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Wow. A lot of good stuff. Okay, back to the quarter. Gotta talk to the people a little bit, you know. Gotta talk to my people. All right, got a quarter out. Let's see what we got here. Right. Generally don't like shaking out a whole freaking scoop. Especially like in damp sand. Uh, one guy left a comment on my channel. He said, um, hey, why don't you uh, shake it out when uh, you dig it? You know, if you have a full scoop, you dug it out, it's damp sand. And you want to, you know, if you're going to punt for a few hours, I mean, you don't want to wear yourself out on the court or something like this. It's easier to dump it out. You know, minimize your um, shake so, and weight. It's a lot on your um, arm, you know, if you're not used to it. So, yeah, I just think it's weird. Everybody has their own technique, so, you know, whatever works for them, right? Okay, let's move on. Here's a deeper one, probably a deeper uh, dime. Ten forty at nine. Nine inches it says. So let's just take let's just go heavy on it. Yep. Might be a deep sink. No? A forty one. The reason I like to dump it out and kick it is because I like to look at the VDI too. Just to see how the machine responds against um, the mineralized sand. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. You got yourself a dime. Dime, dime. Take them all the time. Make you want to rhyme. All right, here's a nice one coming in. Check it out together. That's how we do it, right? 940, 442. 1242, all that good stuff. 
Nice repeatable clean. So this is about seven to eight. Twelve forty four. Are we gonna be a dime? Let's see what we got here. Nope, another penny. Copper penny. Hey, that one's already been tumbled, man. We're good to go. 19, uh, 1968. Isn't that great? Dun dun dun. Funky one, let's take it out. Yeah, uh, yeah, like we always do. Maybe another uh, Fisher's weight. Diving weights, maybe? I don't know. Yes. I do that or sinker or something like that. I don't know. Gotta keep an eye on those waves. It's supposed to be going out right now, but uh, you never know. You gotta be careful. Sharp point uh, stealth scoop today, so I don't have that round edge. My other scoop today, there's something right there, though. I think I got it. So hard to tell this whitewash. Yeah, I'm in the right spot. It just keeps probably sinking back in the hole I've dug out. Oh, and it's a phone. iPhone. A cry phone. Let's see, is it a cry phone? Oh man, it's a cry phone. It's an older cry phone though. No, that's not a cry phone. That's a junk phone, probably. Probably why they threw it in the ocean. Oh, it's got the fancy kickstand on it too. Any money in the back, maybe? Did you leave me something? No. Man, they didn't leave nothing. Alright, anyways. Not a cry phone. A bye-bye phone. Alright. Well, the battery off on that thing too, man. Alright, let's move on. Okay, here's a wrap-up. Everything we found on the beach. Diver's weight. A fancy, fancy smartphone with a kickstand. I mean, that's... That right there is just technology, man. That's just way ahead of the game. Fancy kickstand right there. Mm -mm. Yeah. All right, we got some quarters, got some dimes. We did find some jewelry. Nice little belly button rings, nose rings, whatever you want to call them. Uh, coins, we did all right. Got some dimes and quarters. A few pennies that I can probably use. And then, uh, you know, just a beach trash that I dug up. It was sanded down probably about three to five feet, so yeah, we did all right. Just felt good to get out and have some fun metal detecting on the beach. Well, that's what we got, guys. Have a good day.
Good luck, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.